Welcome to McLeod Makes. Thanks for checking out the channel. In this video, I'm going to be looking at a couple upgrades I made for my Shea Poco 3. Part 2 of this video, the PWN CNC version 4 dust boot. We'll get to that in a second here. This first one is one I designed myself. It's a tablet holder for my Fusion 5 tablet. I would have rather ordered a tablet holder, but I couldn't find one that I would fit my needs. Went to Fusion 360 to design one myself, printed it in Inland PETG, which is a brand that I've been really happy with overall for the PETG. And then I mounted it onto my enclosure. It is articulating, so it will head down when I need to zero in a piece. As you can see there, I do have the vacuum setup going on, and that's an upgrade as well in a sense. I will make a video coming out soon on my Fine Turbo 1 vacuum that I just put into my system. And I do some noise testing and so forth, so if it's something you're interested in, I would subscribe because that will come out very shortly. As for this video, I went ahead and wanted to run a little quick test now that I had it all installed just to see how I like the system. And so I created this little pattern of a wood sword in Fusion 360 and uh, went ahead and milled that out for my kids. I did one in pine because I had some scrap pine laying around and I did one in plywood because I had some plywood laying around. So just made a quick little project to see how I like the new tablet holder and I really do like it for zeroing in the work and it's great on top of the enclosure as well. I was really worried about my tablet, not that it's expensive, but that, uh, you know, I kind of have it set up exactly how I want it. I would hate to have to buy a new tablet and reset everything. And so uh, I wanted to really protect it and I think the design I made for the tablet holder is going to protect it a lot better than the generic tablet holders that were out there. You can already see part two of this video, kind of, the PWN CNC version 4 dust boot that I have installed on my Shapoko 3. But before we get to that, really quickly, I'd just like to remind you, if you do like videos like this, if they're helpful or you have these tools at home, subscribe, it really helps the channel. So when it comes to the PWN CNC dust boot, I went ahead and ordered the files from PWN CNC and the files for the mounting system along with the files for the dust boot version 4 and for the hose connector. I'm really happy with the overall system. I really wanted an independent system, something that functions independent of the router itself and so this was what I was looking at and obviously highly recommended in the world of Shapoko. The one thing I was struggling heavily with and I actually ruined a couple that I made not a big deal because I could just reprint it and take very long but what I was struggling with was the threaded inserts. So I ordered a threaded insert tip for my soldering iron. I ordered that off Amazon and it made a world of difference. It was much easier to insert the threaded inserts. I also ordered different threaded inserts from Amazon because I wanted ones that were less likely to strip out and I found these ones that have diagonal patterns opposing each other in my mind at least seemed less likely to strip out and so those were the ones I went with. Overall really happy with the design. The most difficult part was the threaded inserts for me. Everything else went together fairly easily. As far as the functionality of it, we can check that in a second, but you can get a close look at version 4 here. I wanted one that the hose connects in the front because that's kind of how the, I had the system already set up. Of 
I also went ahead and designed a separate vacuum accessory because there are so many little nooks and crannies there in the Shape Oko 3 system. I wanted to be able to get in easier and switch it to that vacuum accessory. So I went ahead and designed that Infusion 360. The difference you can see with my old dust boot, there was no adjustment for height midway through the project and a lot of those chips are just flying loosely. This is my first run with the PWN CNC dust boot installed and it's on a piece of white oak for a speaker kit I was doing for a friend. Already less chips flying loosely and I wasn't even really zeroing in the height I would need. As I got more used to the dust boot I was able to zero in that height better and get a better vacuum suction and even less chips flying loosely as you can see on the aluminum here. Great design overall. Here is the finished project. White oak in the middle and aluminum on the front and back. Just a speaker kit from Rockler, a Bluetooth speaker kit. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, feel free to share, and take care.